Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I am playing the Tier 6 Imperial Japanese Navy Destroyer Fubuki. A uh, few days back, can't remember exactly how many, I told you that I had played uh, the Mitsuki and the Fubuki and then the Kagero, uh, skipping over the Akatsuki. And the reason is that I, uh, I wanted to get a few more wins in these ships. Uh, just, you know, some stupid thing that I do. I like to get ships up to 50% or better, especially ships that I played <laughs> four or five years ago at this point in the race to try to get tier 10, as so many people do. <clears throat> I think, you know, big picture. I really took my time compared to a lot of people, but because uh, I went in basically all uh, nations and all ship types, other than CVs, which I kind of stopped doing ahead of the CV rework, but um, I digress. I promised uh, in the video that I referenced a second ago that I was going to play some of these low and mid tier Japanese t torpedo boats just to kind of give you some idea of how they play and kind of what my expectations are and kind of my approach to playing them. You may have heard me say try to play the entire game without being seen that it probably won't happen but if that's your goal you will probably be able to live long enough to make a difference in the game at some point now in this game we just take a look at matchmaking that's going to be exceptionally difficult because we've got a total of four cvs in the game there will be aircraft overhead a lot uh, only one other destroyer uh, and that's that fabuki right there both teams have a sub. I would say the biggest threat, at, at least to my ship in this game, is the aircraft. Because every time they spot my ship, there is the chance. You can see the Kabuki torpedoes. There is a chance that one of these red ships or more will target me. Now, I don't want to sit in my smoke primarily because the Furutaka also has torpedoes. Uh, but. <laughs> I was really hoping I wouldn't have to sit, you know, Furutaka gets blapped by New York. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to sit in the open. Thought about firing and decided not to because Fubuki's about to go behind the island and then I'll go dark. Because that was the ship that was spotting me. Now he just, he just threw his torpedoes out maybe 30, 40 seconds ago, so I know I have a little bit of time before they're back up. I'm going to see if I can secure this cap. He's going to come around that island here in a second. So I'm going to move out here, get a little bit of speed. Try and avoid having the cap get reset. Looks like those guys are focused elsewhere. So I'm just trying to keep the island between myself and the Fubuki. And see if I can get the cap. 20 seconds until I can land this cap for the good guys. So that's my focus now. Uh, Fubuki's torps are probably back up. It's debatable whether he'll throw them at me. He may decide to focus on getting him into the side of a battleship. It's just like I'm trying to do. I got detected, which is not going to make it easy to get those torpedoes on target. Uh, doesn't help either that I lost three of them to the island. So many little edges like that. It looks like you've got water and they still somehow hit island. You can see that I'm falling back using the island for cover, but it's not going to last long because, yep, Ranger torpedo, well, not torpedo bombers, but bombers. And Warspy is trying to turn to avoid the torpedoes. Well, I believe one of them here in that second group. Yep, he did a good job to avoid getting flapped, but nose in like that. He's facing off with a New York and a Mackinson, and unfortunately, um, I'm having a really tough time staying unseen with the aircraft constantly focusing the war spy. Now, I wanted to try and help spot torpedoes. They came in before I got there. But I think now I have to separate, because if everybody's in the same line relative to the red ships, if they angle against one of us, they've angled against all of us. And you can see Kabuki's falling back. He's under under some friendly aircraft there. 
looks like Morse might put a shot on him, thank goodness, but he's still in the game. I think Warspite's probably in big trouble here. Now, just kind of taking a look at the big picture. <laughs> we are five minutes into the game. I've done 710 damage. I did manage to secure a cap, and that's helped us in terms of points. But um, my contribution in the terms of the battle has been really minor. Really minor. Now, I put those torpedoes out there despite being, once again, detected. But my expectation is New York's probably going to be able to avoid them. They'll probably stop behind the island. Hate to see Bujani pushing in like that. I mean, maybe he's a really good player. You just never know in randoms. But I'd hate to see him get blapped. But, you know, maybe he'll finish off that Mackinson. You just never know. Yeah, New York, because he saw me, he slowed down. I probably should have tried to throw one at least closer to the island. Now, the torpedoes on this ship reload fairly quickly, and if nothing else, I kept the New York out of the cap. Not that he would have had an easy time capping the Bravo cap, but I did keep him out of there. Now, I've got a ship here in the water I don't want to run into, so I'm going to have to get uncomfortably close to the New York to try to get these torpedoes away. He's shown me he's pretty aware, so I threw some torpedoes out ahead of him because I imagine he might accelerate or turn. I spread them out a little bit. I really want to get into the Bravo cap, but as long as that New York is there, it's going to be really tough. So if I can finish him off here, and I'll have some help. I mean, he's really the only thing for any of us down here to shoot at. You can see a lot of shells heading his way. And it's a good thing, because I'm not going to catch him with all of them. Just uh, just one, and Bajani actually finishes him off. So I can now head for the Bravo cap. But if you take a look at where the, the ships are behind me on the minimap, we've got aircraft everywhere. There's really not any way for me to avoid being, being detected, so I'm just going to run straight for the cap. I don't imagine the Ranger's going to want to try and drop me. My really, my only concern here is whether the Nuremberg is going to start putting shells on me. I'll just try and get out from under these planes as quickly as I can. I don't want to shoot, because if I do, then I stay detected even longer. Yeah, I think I'm not going to throw these torpedoes out there. I think Nuremberg's probably going to be sunk here in just a second. All right, so now we're eight minutes in. I've done almost 8,900 damage. How about that? <laughs> this is... Why am I showing you this replay? There's nothing heroic going on here. I mean, I do a little bit more as the game progresses, but uh, I think this is a really great example of kind of what these ships normally do. Throw some torpedoes out in kind of a wide spread. Look at that dispersion. Holy cow. Uh, <clears throat> they are good for spotting. But if you're playing against CVs, then the CVs are probably going to keep you detected a fair amount of the game. And the gun is gone. And now, finally, I can get into the Bravo cap, and I'm sitting at 9,500 damage. Uh, almost nine minutes into the game. So, in a game like this, again, I focus on trying to remain unseen. Again. Probably not going to happen, but I just do my best. Try and stay alive till the late game. Now the CVs, unless I get close, they're probably not going to want to focus me. They're going to they're, they're going to want to focus things that are easy to hit. So at this point, you know we're down to seven ships. Bad guys are down to five, and at this point, these CVs are probably going to be focusing big, big battleships. Because that is, <clears throat> well, not guaranteed damage. Much easier to get than trying to hit a destroyer. And you can see the Ranger is getting his torpedo bombers out there. I'm guessing to hit the Kunuk. 
New Mexico has a decent AA. And I thought about staying here, but I think the Koenig probably has him detected even without me here. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the edge of this island and just hope that at least one of those torpedoes connects. If Ranger keeps going on the same track, it probably will, but it looks like he's turning north, and I imagine he's probably going to be, he's probably going to end up trying to turn around. As long as he's detected, he's, he's liable to be taking fire, so he's probably going to try and run. And my torpedoes are probably going to get there right around the time he's pointed in a straight line to them, but maybe I still get lucky and land one. Now, what am I doing now? Well, everybody can see that Ranger. I don't have to help with that one, but... If I get over here, and I am running full speed, despite the fact that it looks like I'm crawling. If I get over here, maybe I can spot the bear. And if I can, maybe New York or Bajoni can finish him off, because he's already taken a lot of damage. And there he is. And he's really banged up. So just by being here and detecting him... Look at that turret traverse. Ugh. Just by detecting him, I'm helping my team. Ranger finishes off their Ranger. Arbogioni does finish off the Bayern. And at this point, we have a five ships to three ship advantage. We have two camps to their one, but take a look down at the Charlie camp. Their Fabuki. <laughs> Very crafty. I was really hoping that Budyoni would stay down there and help with Fabuki. But he just keeps pushing this way. Now, I don't know whether his guns are pointed that back, back that direction or not. Now, what am I doing? Well, at this point, I have to... Just accept that whatever's going to happen down there is going to happen down there. And see what I can do up here. Our kind of, he's going to get sunk. There's no way he survives this. It's point blank range, really, with a Mutsu and a submarine. One or the other of them is going to torpedo him and sink him. There we go. So I imagine the sub is going to <clears throat> be heading south along with the Mutsu. So really the only question, at least in my mind, is are they going to head for Bravo or are they going to try and chase down that Ranger? Our Ranger's aircraft might detect one or the other. You can see in the chat there, I was really kind of hoping we go back a minute or two to see Ranger get his aircraft down there to spot that Fabuki so he doesn't take the sea cap away from us. Or finish up our New York or our Budyoni. New York's really banged up. Budyoni's not got a whole lot of HP either. So this really could still go either way. If Fabuki's able to finish off the New York and secure the cap, or the Budyoni and secure the cap, this game has a whole different complexion. So, again, I try to stay on scene. I do what I can to spot for my team. Try to get torpedoes on targets. <clears throat> the guns in this ship, well, they're, they're very anemic. And that's true, really, until you get to uh, you know, at least one tier higher. Okay, I'm detected. That tells me the sub is right here. There he is. Wait for these glacially slow turrets to traverse. <laughs> Three pens for 710 damage. Yeah, these guns are pretty pathetic. So what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to angle to the Mutsu, and fortunately I can run straight at the submarine. He's got me pinged. And that means those torpedoes are going to be tracking me. But if I run straight at them, they're not going to have the time to turn enough to hit me. Now I'm just going to park right over the top of this sub. <clears throat> My hope is that he's not going to have the battery power to stay underwater very long. I have a smoke ready. And that means, <clears throat> pardon me, that means that 
if I'm able to finish off this sub, and he's coming to the surface, so I'm going to be able to catch him here. I'm uh, really hoping to stay in a cat, but I don't think that's going to be possible because I'm trying to accelerate enough to be able to get... Yeah, trying to, trying to get some of the uh, barrels in the water, and I'm able to finish him off. And I finish him when he comes to the surface. But I had to run through the cap in order to make that happen, so I'm not going to be able to secure the cap. But I do finish off the sub, and I consider that a win. I land one torp, and that's probably all that it's going to take. His close range fight with our Koenig means that he must have used his repair. He's still flooding, and this is going to end abruptly. So I will just say, I hope you enjoyed this. This really is kind of a good example of what it's like to play these ships. And I'll see you next time.